Hi there, it's Purple Orchid and I hope you're all well and I hope everyone is as peaceful as possible because that's a place that that's just very, very valuable and it's a place that I relish now. Um, I'm rather disturbed, which it doesn't happen to me too often now. And I'm going to try my best to try and tackle this as the best way that I can. I'm going to try and respond without causing obvious hurt because that is not the way I operate. I never have, and even more so now. I don't like drama, and I usually try to get, don't try to get myself involved in it. But on this occasion, the last few nights have been very disturbing, in my opinion. I don't often speak about my qualifications, my career, and my extra qualifications since I've retired. But most of everything involves behaviour. The psychology of behaviour. And people's natures, people's characters, and change. For the past 16 years, I have helped people face up and not run away from what I refer to as character defects. I found out about my character defects and someone else helped me through and helped me face up to them and not run away. It was hard, and it is hard. But if you really want to change and not be obnoxious to people, then what I did and what happened to me was incredible. People that I have helped became humble through vision and they became people who weren't afraid of any challenge, they didn't run away and I know that I have run away from people who challenged me and my behaviour in the past. And the reason I ran away from it was fear. That fear that I would let people into my inner self, to my inner flaws, to the things that I was not proud of and I didn't want other people to know. And that's ego. But one experience I had, which almost killed me, cracked open that shell of ego and let the authentic me shine through. It set me free. And I can't go back into that and close the shell up again because I like the authentic person that I am now. Other people might not like it, because it's me, warts and all. I say what I think. And that's where I come from now. I've been released from that. I would say the, the handcuffs, the prison of ego. But I can see other people still want to protect their authentic self.
and not let it shine through. I'm not talking about everybody. Don't think that I'm speaking about everybody because there's a lot of people who are totally authentic on here. I hope to go live um, or schedule a live about the about turns I've seen, about the two faced um, turnabout attitude that I could not believe. Many people have been affected about what has happened over the past few days. Many are extremely upset. But someone has just merrily gone on, doesn't care, and people who you were really nice to, Dana, in the past few weeks, months, with your sweetness and platitudes, suddenly you bring up everything in their past and how horrible. So the resentment's been there all along. All you needed is someone to light the touch switch. I cannot understand anyone coming from that place just to be popular. I'm Scottish, as you know, and our heritage is pretty down to earth. We call a spade a spade, and are pretty transparent both about ourselves and see through other people. I was always told to watch out for people who were too sweet to be wholesome. People who brag about grammar and I could say there was an error in your grammar but I wouldn't do that I won't point it out um, people who quote Shakespeare and constantly bring up psychological and psycho babble um, from Freud to Skinner to Carol um, many, many people, many psychologists who have expressed how we we as people who help others should deal and it's through positive regards, kindness, and not nastiness. I know that your our personal relationships with other people and our professionals, but to me, they mingle because if a person is nasty in their personal relationship, then they haven't gone further to really deal with what's going on in their own life. ADHD, my son, my elder son has ADHD and the similarities are remarkable. It's never wrong, speaks over people, constantly interrupts and is very nasty if anybody ever tries to say about his flaws. And that is a complete eye-opener to me because it wasn't brought up that way. We are very calm people, very transparent people, very honest people. And he has chosen to go his own path and will not seek help. So from a professional point of view, personal, professional, and just my character. This is why I'm disturbed today. And yeah, I'm going to have to make a, a video about self-awareness and other things. So thanks. 
have a good day and I know drama gets lots of views and I'm not into drama. I don't want lots of views, but I have to speak and say what I feel.